Yeah, we don't speak Ah, English. See, this is the last no, one. No, not the last one. Wait a second. How, how is this? Uh, if you go to the... You, you want to resend me that email? Uh, that email? Okay. You, you, you can run this one. It's no problem. Let me check we have another one. It has a cold play, that one will open. I think, I think oh, okay, let's do that. It's no problem. Now I think we have, I think we have a version where we have open it. Yes. So let me put that over it, 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 it should be in email. Uh, I copy you, I send it to... Uh, Okay, let's do that. Okay. Yes. Stop. Yes. Uh, we, we listen. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. We are ready to go. Um, please stop whatever you're doing and focus on David. <laughs> I think this is uh, uh, David's final talk of the day, uh, his fifth one, which made him the record holder beating me by one. So, quick applause. Um, so, uh, we want to present uh, the presentation about uh, the liquid cooled OCP uh, modular data center. So, uh, we don't need to talk about OCP, you already don't need to talk about OCP. S so, uh, we don't need to talk about OCP, you already know. Application, uh, approve that through the community and place that uh, for all the people uh, who, is available, uh, who, who can download that and use uh, in their purposes. Uh, principles is tool, tool list, efficient. And uh, now we want to show what we have already in uh, OCP. Uh, example is 90 kilowatt uh, modular data center, which is air cooled. And bottleneck here is, is uh, air coolers, which uh, is limited by 90 kilowatt. For that reason, the 12 racks is half empty. Each one seven and half instead of 14 but we can place 250 servers. Please stop. Next so, so with the traditional um, in-row cooling still comes a piping infrastructure with lots and valves. Um, the, 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 and also in this, the first uh, you know, specification is nice because it's still quite representative in terms of the remote condenser having uh, roughly bound the industry standard PoE that we still face. So it's a, it's a nice baseline for, for technology, but it's also good to improve upon them. So with that, uh, in-row calculations, we have the high amount of, uh, that goes into the condenser, the in-row cooling uh, at you know the traditional lower end of the temperatures, 24 degrees on the cold aisle, 34 degrees on the uh, hot aisle. Um, in, in that slide, uh, just pay attention for the uh, total power input, 104 kilowatt, and useful, which is go to our, for IT loads, it's just 90 kilowatts. And uh, when then we will compare with others. So uh, this uh, modular data center is uh, based on uh, passive liquid cooling uh, with heat reuse. Uh, the idea of uh, passive liquid cooling that there is a uh, looped pipe which is designed for OCP server and have in the end dry lock connection. So there is no dripless connection because uh, the loop is closed and all the facility water is uh, flowing only in the end of the rack. Uh, so what is the server energy? 
If we look on the, um, the, this uh, OCP server, we will see that 70% uh, is goes to, for two CPUs, and the rest is for the other components. And among them, 10% is going for the uh, server friends, and uh, 70 is for C CPU. So, can we reduce the energy consumption of the server? Uh, yes, we can if we will take away the heat uh, from the CPU by the liquid cooling. In that case, the fan's power uh, will reduce by 70%. Overall, in, on server, it will make impact just 7%, but it is significant. And uh, what we can achieve with uh, the OCP servers, that instead of free, with uh, big heat sinks, we can shift to the low profile and place six servers instead of three. And we can achieve twice as dense uh, rack. So in conventional air-cooled OCP rack, we have 45 servers. And when we have low profile, we can go with 72 low profile and 12 conventional air cooled because we still uh, have a uh, storage system which uh, need air cooling uh, in conventional way. But overall we achieve 84 servers per rack, which give us approximately 27 kilowatt per rack. And uh, this is uh, the design uh, uh, inside. We have uh, 12 racks with 1000 servers, four times more than air cooled. But still, we have big air cooler, which cover the 30% of heat rejection with uh, temperatures uh, much higher than conventional uh, in row cooler. And uh, another point is that when we shift from air cooling to liquid cooling, the temperature in cold oil can shift it from 20 degrees to 35 for a long uh, period of time. And that gives us more, much more possibilities uh, to use uh, free cooling or shift from uh, a chiller system to the adiabatic cooling. And uh, here you can see four uh, solutions. Uh, two with chiller, when customer still want to have 20 degrees uh, air in cold aisle. It can be uh, liquid cooled when we can make also heat reuse from the air cooling part, or it can be air cooled chiller, uh, and we will make heat reuse only from the uh, liquid cooling part. But if customer understand that we can go with higher temperatures in cold oil, we can shift for, for adiabatic uh, coolers, and um, don't use uh, chillers, and reduce the energy input. So this is one of example when we can have first stage air cool part. It's uh, 27, 35 degrees. And after that, 35 degrees is heated up to 58 by, uh, in the end of the rack. And the, the uh, 85 kilowatt will be air cooled and 250 is liquid cooled. But these temperatures, 27, uh, 58, can be uh, cooled by adiabatic cooler or use uh, for the heating or uh, different uh, applications uh, which can be also um, uh, included in the design. And uh, overall we can uh, see here that the uh, total power is 370 but the server uh, is uh, 355 in ratio is much higher. Uh, but now we can make comparison. 1,000 servers air-cooled and 1,000 servers liquid-cooled. But in first case, we need four uh, modular data centers. In a second case, uh, with liquid cooling, we need one. So less racks, less IT load, because less fan uh, works. Uh, total power is uh, reduced by 36%. It's mean less UPS, less gensets, less transformer, less energy equipment. And uh, cooling energy is uh, reduced by 95%. Uh, but overall, total energy is 35%. So 
Uh, overall, in three years, we understand that CapEx is cheaper, OPEX is cheaper, and we save on 1,000 servers 1.2 million euros. So uh, this is short explanation about the Lupid pipe, how it works. Uh, it convert in passive way from uh, the evaporator to the end of rack. And uh, it, it is a uh, closed loop, so n n no effect uh, from the ambient. And uh, another component is uh, adiabatic cooler, which don't uh, need uh, water treatment. There is no issues with Geonella, and 95% of the um, uh, work performed as a dry cooler. And Carl? So, so yeah, uh, we, we work on this together in the modular data center group with the efforts of numerous companies and um, David as, a, as, the, as the weave between them, uh, holding together a community of, of partners. And we uh, will release that soon to the incubation community, the uh, specification. And what's uh, unique about it that we also, once the specification is accepted, we also want to release the design files of this for people to easier understand and engage with liquid cooling. And we have um, just here on this event agreed to different uh, uh, further uh, white papers and potentially specifications in, in the field of liquid cooling and yeah want to engage in more cross-group uh, work with the um, with the advanced cooling facility and uh, yeah happy to to invite uh, the members of the cooling facility over also into our group and try to yeah be part of this on both sides um, because we also see the need for the OCP ready for a very close uh, for, for a big effort to work closely together on this. Yeah. Yes. That, I think. <laughs> with, with that, you all can now uh, end, <laughs> nearly end the summit. Right? Yes. <laughs>